Hello again. We're going to continue our look at the Code Snippets panel in this video and look at how we can use the timer event that we've covered by coding that in Scratch in the previous videos and show how you can accelerate how you create timers using the Code Snippets. Now timers are something that, if you remember, are basically like a, like a stopwatch where I can create a timer that will count down certain increments. It could be a second, it could be half of a second. You can actually define all, the, the, all those different aspects of the timer. Using the Code Snippets panel in the Actions section, you'll see that there is something here called Simple Timer. You'll also see there's another option called Countdown Timer. We're actually going to cover both of those in this video. I'm going to take the Simple Timer and I'm going to add that to the current frame. You'll see that the timer code is automatically pasted into, um, into the frame. Let's actually take a look at this and see and describe a little bit more of what the code says. So at the top you'll see, again, we have instructions that define what, um, what actually this code is going to do. So this is going to display a countdown timer in the output panel until 30 seconds elapse. So there are instructions here on how I can modify this. So to change the number of seconds in the timer, change the value 30 in the first line below to the number of seconds you want. So if we take a look at the code here, you'll see that on line 10, I have this object, timer instance, and it's creating a new timer class. Now none of this timer code is new to us. We've been working with it in previous videos. But again, the code snippets allow me to work with this much faster. We can modify this code by saying, let's say we want the timer to go for, let's say, 10 seconds. So I'm going to go in and modify 30 to 10. And then I have the rest of the events created for me. You'll see that I have the add event listener, which is creating the actual timer. And then I have start, which is starting the timer itself. If you remember, when I have the timer event with a timer, it's going to create a, it's going to require an event handler. It's going to do something every single time the timer actually ticks. So if I look on lines 14 through 19, it's created that function for me. In this case, the function is going to execute a trace statement that's going to output how many seconds have elapsed in this particular timer. So let's run this and see how it works. So I've created the movie, and if you look at the output panel, it's outputting seconds elapsed. So with this, I've created a timer using the code snippets, and I can continue to modify that. In this case, let's change a little bit of the event handler so instead of, say, seconds elapse, I'm going to change the position of my, of my blue square here on the stage. So let's modify this. So I'm going to add in, a, add in a line here and say blue square x position is going to be equal to blue square x position plus 5. Let's save this and run this again. Now you'll see that the square moves a few pixels over every single time that the timer, timer ticks. Again, the code snippets allowed me to create all this code without having to do it from scratch, and I can quickly modify it. Let's take a look at the other example. I'm going to delete the code that I have here and then use the countdown timer. I'm going to select it in the code snippets and apply it into my frame. In this case, it's going to count down from a specific number of seconds. Let me expand the panel so we can see the code a little bit easier. To change the length of the countdown, I'm going to change the value 10 in the first line below. That's this line right here. You'll see that the, that the, uh, the variable name that's been given to me helps describe what the action here is. In this case, seconds to count down. So I'm going to modify this and say I'm going to count down from 5 you'll see that I have um, a whole bunch of other code here that's very similar to the previous example that we worked with. I'm creating the new timer, I'm starting the timer, and I have the event handler um, that's taking place at the bottom. So if I run this example, and I show my output panel, you'll see that the now is counting down from 5 all the way down to 0, and then it ends. So again, the code snippets contain uh, two things that allow you to create timers to then modify uh, inside of your own projects to do specific things. We're going to continue looking at the code snippets panel and show you how to do even more things with common actions and action script.